This message is on God's protection. Psalm 34. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Psalm chapter 91. Starting at verse 1. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High <clears throat> shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nuisance pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walkest in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge. even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Now this is not telling people to jump off a cliff to see that God saves them. No. So don't misunderstand that. There may be some who could take that literally. The devil actually tried to tempt Jesus to take that literally. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 125, verse 1 and 2. 
They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Luke chapter 12 Verse 4 and 5. And I say <clears throat> unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed, has power to cast in the hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. God protects his people. You may ask, why is it that Christians are dying with the coronavirus? Well, I believe it's because there's a time coming that only the strongest will be able to endure what is about to happen. Dwight Moody always told people that one day they would read that he was dead. And not to believe a word of it. Because at that moment, he'd be more alive than ever. If someone knows Jesus when they die, they're all right. But if someone dies not knowing Jesus, that's when there's a problem. So I want to give anyone who does not know Jesus an opportunity to accept him. Lord, I ask that you draw people to you. For they cannot come lest they be drawn. And I ask this in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. If the Lord is drawing you, don't fight that drawing. Repent of your sins. It said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you believe the Lord Jesus died for your sins 
and that he rose again and you accept him as your Savior, ask him to come into your heart Then, as long as you endure to the end, you'll be saved. 